welcome guys to welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial uh, i will explain how to work with yaml files in python yaml files are widely used for data serialization and configuration purposes basically offering a human readable format for storing hierarchical data i will cover the basics of reading and writing yaml files in python and explore methods for parsing and manipulating yaml data in this tutorial uh, i will just uh, discover the power of python's libraries such as uh, pyyaml for seamless handling of yaml files whether you are new to yaml or looking to enhance your skills this tutorial will provide you with the essential knowledge to effectively work with yaml files in your python projectors so join us as we delve into yaml data presentation file format uh, allocation and best practices for managing yaml structures let's get ready to unlock the potential of yaml and streamline your data workflows in python yaml is uh, a human readable data serialization format it is often used for configuration files data interchange over network storing hierarchical data so this is very useful for especially if you are working on machine learning so you can store your machine learning models in yaml file so yaml files are uh, files use indentation and a simple syntax to represent data structures like uh, lists, dictionaries, and scalar values. In Python, you can work with YAML files using the PyYAML library. So there is a library that you need to install uh, if it is not installed yet. So here is an example of the Python syntax for working with YAML. Uh, first of all, you have to install the, the PyYAML library using pip install PyYAML. Then once you install the PyYAML library you can import the yaml module from that then uh, you can import uh, this import yaml and let's writing a, a yaml file once you import the module and let's uh, write a yaml file writing a, a, a yaml file look like this this is the data uh, it has a key and a value uh, it looks like a JSON uh, format and because it is a hierarchical uh, data storage. And uh, once you define uh, the data and uh, just uh, write that data into YAML files uh, with open. So to write a YAML file, we create a dictionary data uh, with some sample data, as you can see here. And uh, then we open a file in write mode. Uh, like this and uh, we uh, just open a new file output.yaml the file extension would be yaml and uh, then we use a yaml dump uh, to write the dictionary data as yaml to the file then we use dump method to that uh, using yaml.dump method and we pass the data we created uh, in the above and uh, the file object uh, from opening that file uh, open uh, function or method. Uh, so once we uh, just save this, we can run this and we can see that the YAML data is uh, created, that output.yaml. Let's open up this YAML data. And you can see that the data is just, uh, it, it stores the data in hierarchical uh, uh, layout or format so edge is uh, look like so the data we store in the yaml is uh, like a dictionary data and it stores in hierarchical format this is writing a yaml file simply you can write a yaml file using yaml.dump uh, method and we pass the data into that function and the file object Okay, uh, what about reading YAML file? If you have a data in the uh, YAML file format and you wanna just read that data and uh, 
uh, understand the structure of the data and uh, after reading that yaml file uh, data you can use for any other, uh, other uh, data analysis so to read that uh, we first open uh, uh, use open method with write read mode but to write that yaml data we basically use write mode okay so we just open the file in read mode the file is output.yaml already created in the above and we just uh, use yaml.load uh, function and instead of dump dump is basically to write a yaml file uh, this is uh, to load or read the yaml file from the file and we pass the file object uh, and the loader uh, uh, is yaml.full loader and we can just use uh, yaml.load to load the yaml data and finally we can print that data we can see that the output would be uh, parsed and it is just displayed in the dictionary format okay this is how uh, you can read the yaml data and and the above is how you can write yeah uh, uh, yeah uh, file to yaml data yaml file and uh, the loader uh, you can change the loader uh, it's basically yeah the loader is yaml dot full loader argument is used to specify the loader for the yaml data and uh, the yaml dot load uh, function is generally safe for loading yaml from trusted sources yeah uh, if you uh, uh, if the sources is trusted you can use uh, yaml dot load and uh, you can pass the loader uh, argument to that uh, function however if you are working with untrusted input or untrusted sources you should use the safer safe loader instead of full loader so you can pass it uh, here safe loader if the source of the data is not uh, trusted so you can just uh, load the yaml data uh, from safe uh, sources so by passing the argument safe loader instead of full loader to mitigate potential security risks so this is the best thing that you should uh, understand you should keep in mind while uh, loading the yaml data because uh, yaml data uh, may be in uh, stored in the network so you, you may need to just load that yaml data uh, safely without any security risks by passing this safe loader instead of full loader argument to the yaml dot load function this is uh, uh, about writing and reading yaml data so this is the most essential and Im important for uh, exchanging uh, uh, data serializing data and storing hierarchical data in yaml file those are some basic examples how uh, how to work with yaml in python using the py yaml library so uh, yaml is uh, known for its simplicity readability and ease of use it is uh, simple readable and it is human readable and uh, it is also easy to use and it's making it suitable for various applications such as configuration files especially uh, tokens and uh, any same configuration files are kept in yaml uh, file format that is the good thing and data serialization and more uh, and remember to handle file operations carefully and use appropriate error handling techniques when you are working with uh, files or parsing yaml data so this is uh, today's lesson i hope you enjoyed in this uh, tutorial don't forget to like share subscribe thanks for watching today